Hi, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, so uh, in today's sessions we are going to uh, talk about the Agile methodology and under this Agile uh, we will talk about the two uh, most uh, used uh, uh, frameworks that is a uh, uh, Scrum and Kanban. Okay. So uh, the first things that uh, <coughs> what is the traditional software development approaches do we have? as of now okay so if you see that we have a two things the first is a waterfall model and that is our traditional uh, uh, software uh, development model which we we used to uh, use earlier and second we have a uh, uh, agile methodologies under that under that we are uh, using a scrum or and some companies a team uses a kanban model okay so uh, we'll understand here uh, exactly that exactly what is the waterfall model and what was the shortcomings so that we moved uh, or we uh, inclined towards uh, that uh, agile okay so the water model uh, waterfall model is a traditional software development uh, model uh, that uh, use a linear and sequential approach for the software development so as uh, i read that it's a sequential approach like in software development we have a different type of stages like a requirement analysis then system design implementations testing deployment and maintenance okay so these are the sequential things so what happens uh, if we are following the waterfall model uh, we uh, start from the first step like a requirement uh, gathering and that we spend uh, some time uh, okay then once this require requirement analysis gets complete for the complete project then we go for the designing like subsequently move we move okay okay but there are chances that we uh, that uh, when once we complete our uh, project go into the maintenance phase or once the project got deployed and when the clients reviewed the products there are chances that when he can say that the product whatever he wanted he wanted what he was expecting this the current product is not like that or maybe the whatever the requirement he has given very long back maybe for five months and one year back is completely outdated now there is something different trend is running in the market okay or their compet competitor is using some different advanced technology so here whatever the effort we have done the last it's completely gone west and that was the shortcoming of waterfall model here so i won't say that waterfall model is completely useless and we shouldn't use it or it's a completely uh, beneficial where the uh, the project duration is very short right one or two month three months projects we have there we can go ahead okay but the project duration is long okay 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 then so it is completely suggestible that we should go uh, for the uh, agile okay so let's talk about the what is agile and why agile is so famous nowadays in the industries okay so agile software development is a software development uh, methodology uh, centered uh, centered around idea of iterative and incremental development okay so here it's not like that uh, we are not uh, releasing the product instead uh, at a one shot okay uh, okay we are uh, just uh, releasing the product okay in a very phase wise manner incremental or iterative manner okay small small uh, piece of uh, features we are releasing okay so how it is beneficial actually right if you are uh, releasing a small small piece of uh, features the first thing is it's a uh, uh, deliver a value the very uh, most valuable features very faster we get a feedback very faster from the clients exactly what he wanted and wanted uh, what client wanted okay and when the clients say yes then only uh, we'll go we'll increment or uh, increment or um, right, go for the next iterations okay and then you go for the next feature okay so here the benefit is is the very faster feedback okay uh, value delivery faster uh, response to change quickly okay so here in agile uh, agile uh, we have a two type of framework the first is a scrum and second is a kanban okay and this these tools are most widely uh, widely used in the industry okay so let's uh, study uh, one by one in this team okay now uh, here uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, first is a scrum so what is a scrum so scrum is a lightweight software development methodology that focuses uh, focuses on small having time box spent okay here 
scrum in the sense we have a time box things okay and uh, within that time box durations uh, we need to uh, finish those those uh, responsibility whatever we was taking the iterations that we call the iterations okay <clears throat> so scrum uh, places an emphasis on customer interactions feedback and uh, adjustment uh, rather than uh, than uh, than document and productions okay and here is scrum what we do we just uh, um, uh, uh, we uh, broke uh, we ident how we uh, capture the requirement in terms of huge cases huge stories okay or some bdd forms we take the requirements we keep into the uh, product backlog items and we divide into uh, the complete uh, product into the number of releases milestones and fee sprints okay and then uh, we start working on that okay scrum roles so uh, so now i think uh, it's clear for you guys that what is exactly a scrum okay now we'll understand who will and all are involved into the scrums so there are three different important type of roles are involved in the scrums the first is a scrum master role second is a product owner and third is a development team okay okay so let me go back and give you the scrum master is a, a people who is complete uh, uh, responsible for deliverable of the product okay he uh, set up uh, all the process uh, agile process he coaches the team he removed the, all the impediment okay and he ensures this uh, that uh, between the team and they have a good collaboration even he ensures that the team is uh, and, uh, re he removes the dependency actually the, within the team and the cross functional team and if any uh, uh, dependency is there then he help them how to resolve that okay and he ensures all the process uh, are getting followed okay so that is the task of the scrum master product owner uh, for each and every uh, scrum team there will be only single product owner okay and he is the person who is responsible for all the uh, features okay he will ensures all the requirements are taken uh, captured uh, properly all the acceptance criteria is updated into the user stories or epic and all the tickets are updated all the tickets are prioritized okay he is he is doing all the requirement at a re regular basis okay okay so this is the responsibility of product owners now the third is a development team development team in the sense here uh, all here it involves um, all the developers uh, qas designers if, if, even if business analyst is there he is also involved come into the development team only if any devops team is there he is in the devop that team is also part of a development team so here we are not categorizing that this is a specific qa team or devops teams no all the development team who is re responsible for deliverables okay okay they have to ensure that each whatever the task they have taken they have to complete with the definition of done okay the next is a, a scrum events there are uh, some uh, rituals we have in, into the uh, scrums and uh, such event is uh, the first is a sprint planning where we do the sprint planning what type of, uh, where we do the, all the sprint uh, capacity planning we do okay we create a sprint backlogs from which uh, the item is taken from the product backlogs okay how based on capacity we uh, we pick up the uh, pick up the item from the product backlog and keep into the sprint backlog then uh, <coughs> we have a daily scrums uh, that should be maximum of 15 uh, minutes and that should be uh, driven by the development team okay there uh, the product owners and the scrum master can they can attend but they should until is it not required they can be a uh, they can be as uh, the silent viewer the third is a sprint review they where we can review the how uh, how uh, we have delivered the uh, the user stories the i or the, the artifacts the the end or the or the features and whether all the uh, user stories are meeting the definition of uh, of done's uh, criteria or not okay and all those uh, features whatever you doing you should uh, meet the quality criteria okay anyway if they are meeting the dod uh, definition of done criteria i think everything is fine okay <coughs> the fourth uh, ritual is the sprint retrospective where we uh, analyze that's what went well what we can improve 
better and what if any things we thinks okay if that is a garbage unnecessary things so just remove it okay so if we are planning anything that we can create action items we can put into the backlogs okay and based on priority we can take up those okay so these are the four scrum events uh, which come under the any which should follow by the any scrum team okay now we'll discuss the scrum value what are all the scrum values we have so we have a focus the first is a focus okay we should have a focus on the quality there should be no compromises on the quality okay the second is openness all the team members should be open to each other they should uh, accept the feedback accept the changes accept a feedback accept a mistakes okay always we should be open okay no one should uh, just uh, impose anything okay on anyone the third is a courage we should have a courage to say no if someone is telling okay just pick up uh, these items and they are pushing up by the any uh, high level manager and if you thinks you don't have a capacity or or there are some technical challenges you should have a courage to say no we cannot do it or maybe some user story which uh, some technical difficulty you are not able to deliver it we should have a such courage that we should uh, inform them that there are some issues and the most probably this features we cannot deliver into this sprint okay so let them know that actually so what at all the risk we have okay and then accordingly they will do the mitigation okay so that's how the 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 courage comes okay now we have a commitment okay we have a commitment in each and every sprints when it, it when does it get starts we have some goals objective that we need to finish these are the features these are the user story which need to be finished by all the by the sprint team okay and if we have done the commitment that yeah this stories will taken by the all the individuals these are the commitments that which we need to fulfill or which we need to complete it okay that we need to take care the fourth is a respect we should do the respect of the sprint durations it's not like that that uh, this is a user story okay i will complete in the next one no if we have if we have a start and end time if we have a have a, some uh, duration of the sprint we should respect it okay we should respect the people values okay we should respect of scrum framework like whatever the process we have the daily either it should be a daily scrum or uh, a sprint planning retrospective okay wish and or if they are asking to update a cards at a regular basis each and everything should be respected we, even we should respect the team members okay suggestion emotions okay whatever it is okay now the next is a different scrum matrix there are a lot of uh, different type of matrices are available uh, using dash that, that we can see the progress of our sprint okay so these are the few uh, matrices i have listed down and there are still lot of matrices are available so you can go and find out okay the first is a velocity charts where we can uh, find out that what is the velocity of the team and then we can we can uh, anticipate that uh, our uh, releases or milestones okay commitment and reliability whether how much we are committing and whether it is a reliable or not we are simply we are committing but we are not completing so those matrix will give idea whether whatever you committed we are uh, delivering or not okay in a, in, a, in a particular durations capacity utilizations we can check it out what what at all capacity we do we have and whether you are utilizing your uh, capacity okay in a completely or not estimation variance okay uh, there is a any gap between the estimations okay or someone is giving 10 hours and we are able to complete in 8 or 8 only or someone is giving 10 and they are taking 15s so estimations cannot it definitely we cannot give a very accurate estimations but the variance the deviation should be very minimal okay at a Uh, as we grow okay as we uh, as the iteration passes and increment goes okay the deviation should be minimal okay then we have a scope changes at least we can uh, see that what it all means how frequently the scope are getting changed and that's affect a lot uh, okay when you are uh, part of a scrum so uh, right so <coughs> we need to check it out whether scope changes are happening very frequently okay uh, and using this this matrix we can monitor it then defect leakage we have defect leakage means uh, during sprint the qa has done testing okay and and they didn't found any bugs but in productions they found 
some bugs so that bug is called a defect leakage because we didn't found uh, while doing the functional testing okay the back health all the health we can see the um, system health so now we'll come uh, to now the so now we have uh, completely understood what is a scrum what it all is what is a scrum values okay what at all the rituals and events do we have in the into the scrums now the second framework is a kanban agile framework uh, which uh, comes under agile only so we'll uh, understands what is a kanban and why should we use okay and how it is different from the scrum so kanban is a, a agile methodology uh, that is not an iterative actually it's a incremental and kanban is not a time bound uh, methodology whereas if you see the scrums that's a time bound right it should be max it is a one month or maybe 15 days a one week sprints we keeps so there is some start or end date okay and there only we need to complete those tasks but here is nothing like that okay we have uh, some item in the product backlog we uh, just we define the capacity of a capacity uh, to take in the project means only we can take a seven suppose a yeah, five uh, task only into the at a time okay if any task is getting completed is getting mark is done then one slot is free and then we can pick one of the item from the backlog item okay so what it does it controls the work in progress item the board. otherwise in sprint we see so many uh, items will be in the showing the work in progress only so the main objective of kanban is to just uh, uh, control the work in progress uh, things okay that is a, a use of uh, mostly kanban and one more things uh, yeah now one more framework is a, that is a safe and if you see the standard agile is only applicable of on a, a small team level okay uh, that is a maximum of 10 okay but what if you wants to implement the agile at a program level organizations level or multiple team the safe then the safe comes into the picture okay so that is a kind of scaling to team of teams when scaling agile is to having a multiple teams working on either a different modules or a larger uh, Okay, or integrated system called to a product or multiple different products, projects that have a common setup, business object to call the program. So when uh, if you want to uh, implement this agile into a, um, a t uh, multiple teams where uh, the objective of all the teams is the same and they are inter interdependent to each other, so cross functional team is there. There we use this uh, safe framework. Okay. <clears throat> now the question comes: Which one is better? What we should use? Uh, whether Scrum, Kanban, or Safe? All three frameworks, Scrum, Kanban, and Safe, are best at certain uh, certain situation. So the spelling mistake is certain situation. The Scrums good for small to uh, big project having max of ten members. Okay. Kanban best for the if you have any maintenance or production support type things support type of project is there. You can go for the Kanban model. the safe we have suited when want to implement agile at program level at multiple team level or organization level okay then we can use a safe okay so yes so yeah so these are the criteria or you can see this situation where you can uh, decide okay what we should use okay now yeah thanks everyone and that's all what i had today and uh, yeah and uh, so be uh, sync with uh, sync with me and uh, the next times maybe i'll come with some different uh, topics on the agile only okay with some different detail yeah thank you very much